Hi, this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. We're down here at the Embarcadero in downtown San Francisco here on Black Friday. I guess I'll walk around here a little bit. Just a second. And we should make it really important and make it a point to keep it peaceful so that they don't have an excuse to shut us down. Alright? We're here because we're here because the issue isn't always about race, it's about classes, it's about them not understanding where we come from. They don't relate to us, and that's why it's easy for them to separate from us and see us as the enemy. That's what the issue is. The, the issue is that they see our youth as not part of the community. They see us as a burden, and that needs to stop. And this is why we're here, to let them know that it's not okay to do things like that. It's not okay to murder our youth. All right? So we, let, we need to let our voice be heard today, and we need to keep it peaceful, regardless of what they provoke. All right. Anyway, I'm not going on the march today, folks. This gentleman is... Hello. I will be broadcasting as long as I can. Right, and we'll enter in his URL on the on the chat there, so if you know... Hi, everyone. Where to I'd go. like to thank you for coming out tonight. And I'd like to say, as a black man living in San Francisco, this is very much about me. Black, <laughs> black people in this city are disappearing. Black people in this city are being pushed out as... This being a march about a young black boy being shot down. Black and brown lives are being injured by police violence. This is about race. do this very much, but I'm out here on behalf of the family of Alex Nieto, and I just want to say that uh, brown lives do matter. That's the reason why Alex was murdered on the top of Bernal Heights on March 21st of this year. He was a brown man who was up there having a burrito for lunch. He was ready to go to work. He used to do this every time, all the time, but because of the gentrification in the Bernal Heights neighborhood, Nobody even decided to come by and ask what his name was or who he is or what he's doing. They assumed that he was a threat. This man was a beautiful man, a very beautiful, humble man. He was brown, he was just like me. And the thing is though, is that he was about to graduate from City College. He was about to go to San Francisco State. And guess what he was going to do? He was going to be working in criminal justice because he believed in the system and he believed in everything that was going on in the city and he stood for the city and this beautiful man was taken from us so again my name is Oscar Salinas I'm here for justice for Alex and I hope that today you guys remember what this is about so when you say that race doesn't matter it does matter unfortunately for me I'm a brown man and when I walk down the street I feel scared sometimes, you know, because of that. But again, though, we're here again for Mike Brown, for the injustice that's happened out there. And we're here in solidarity from coast to coast. Like I say, from Frisco to Fort Ferguson, from the Sco to Sacramento, everybody's marching today. There's people in Sacramento as we speak right now by the Arden Mall that are marching too. So get up, walk, and do what you got to do. Come to justiceforalex.org and watch what's going on right now. We have a case right now in federal court because the San Francisco Police Department will not give us their names of the men who murdered Alex Nieto. By December 3rd, they have to give us the names. They have to give us the names. That's what we're going to be December 3rd at 8 a.m. 
in front of the federal building. Go to our website and check it out. Have a good day.
somebody call somebody else, camera or blogger, you must be a terrorist. So, yes, today we are going to prove both a call of our brothers and sisters because it's what we are. People who fight together for a common reason, the benefit of peaceful for everybody. Thank you very much. Hi everyone. Uh, so we're with the Bay Area Anti-Repression Committee to give you guys some updates about what's been going on. Uh, we do anti-repression work supporting people, comrades that have been arrested, uh, facing state repression. Um, so in the past three nights in Oakland at least, there's been over 170 arrests. Uh, there's 11 people still in custody, uh, nine misdemeanors, two felonies. And that's not including the 14 arrests from today's West Oakland Bar shutdown for Black Friday. Yeah! And these are just the numbers that we have. There could be many more. There's been a lot more people that have already bonded out. There's been a lot of people that have been cited and released. Um, if you have been arrested or you know somebody that has been arrested and they haven't gotten in touch with the National Lawyers Guild, have them call 415. 285-1011 so we can follow and they can just track and make sure you're being taken care of. Um, we have upcoming court dates. Solidarity does... Oh, the number. 415-285-1011 and that's to the National Lawyers Guild. Uh, it's really important that everyone shows solidarity in the court as well as on the streets. Uh, there's upcoming court dates in Oakland at the Wiley Manual Courthouse uh, starting on Monday. So the misdemeanors are going to be at 9 a.m. Department 107, and the felonies are going to be at 2 p.m. Department 112. Coffee Not Cops will be starting at 9 a.m. so everyone can wake up and stay in court with us. One more time, that number, and everybody, just to be clear, this is the number most of you, I'm sure, know, the National Lawyers Guild, right? That's a collection of lawyers in the Bay Area that every time we get out and do work like this, they go and they sit at phones and they man a hotline. So if you get arrested, you can call that number. We should all know that number by heart, like our mother's number, right? And not just if you get arrested to call. If you witness anyone being arrested, you scream that number out so that they go out with something. They go in with something in some way of being able to get in connection with the support that we have out here. So what we just laid out was the nature of the repression just in Oakland yesterday, right? We know how many people have been arrested across this country. And now we want to talk also about in the face of that repression, what does our response look like? What does our anti-repression look like? One, one form of that is court support, right? As we just said, coming to Wiley Manual on Monday morning or Monday afternoon and being there so that we flood those courtrooms, so that we disrupt that entire court building on that day, right? And make it difficult for them to engage in these mass arrest tactics. So one thing is court support. Secondly, we need resources, right, for all of these people is sitting in jail. The Bay Area Anti-Oppression Committee operates a bail fund, and it's meant to be there for people who can't afford to bail themselves out. So if you can, please go to rally.org slash ARC bail fund and contribute so that people can feel empowered to take these kinds of risks knowing that, that we have their backs and we can support them. And I also know that Black Lives Matter is also collecting right now for a bail fund on you caring. So that's another way to give. So aside from those resources, we also, one of the most important forms of solidarity is to refuse to do the pigs work for them. We do not incriminate each other. We do not target each other, right? We do not reveal each other to the pigs. So first of all, we have to be really careful with our photography, our video recording, right? The revolution is not first and foremost a photo op. So when, if, if you want to take upon yourself that right to come to an action and record, then you must take the responsibility 
to not take any video or photographs that incriminate people and to understand how broadly people can be incriminated, right? And to know that, you know, not only don't take those pictures, don't share them on Facebook. Don't share riot porn on Facebook that incriminates each other like that, right? And know that what we've seen in Oakland at least, even though the pigs have been out in full force, they've been standing down when it comes to a lot of things like property destruction, vandalism. They've been watching it happen, they've been letting it happen, and they've been filming. And we've seen this strategy before. The charges will come later. So all of us, let's be safe in what we do out here, and let's keep each other safe, right? And one thing that the NLG is telling us is that what they're anticipating and what's been happening in the past few years, all these people arrested are likely to get letters from the district attorney asking them to come in and speak. The NLG wants you to know that you have no legal obligation to go to the district attorney's office. You do not have to talk to the pigs, right? If you get such a letter, just call the NLG. What's the NLG number? That's right. So if you get a snitch letter, you call that number. All right, y'all. So let's just remember that the success of this beautiful movement hinges upon our solidarity. It hinges upon our ability to withstand the state repression that is sure to come. Right? So in the face of that state repression, solidarity. <laughs> I'm Javier from Oakland, California. Please make some noise if you fight for justice for my turn. Make some noise!
between and later at the end of the month in August, when the first night and second night of curfew, and the first night, the youth simply stood in the street just to defy an illegal order. It's, it's illegal to declare a curfew for free speech action. That's the testament of government. And we have a right, no matter what they declare illegal, to have free speech, and that's what it was. And you see them tear gas and the rubber bullets. And then the second night, because it was curfew, 3,000 people from the community, young, old, black, white, everybody came out thinking, well, it's legal now, it's 8 p.m. And as soon as we got to the end of the street, um, five um, militarized vehicles came and blocked us and immediately began shooting. I remember I had my hands up. Ten feet away from the vehicle, they looked like Iraq, you know, like they were in Iraq. And I said, "Hands up!" And of course, they shot me in the leg with a rubber bullet and shot hundreds. They arrested many people, and I met many women later who had been shot in the front. And they were—it was a very peaceful march. Well, at 1 p.m. that night, after they expanded the war zone and drove people away, even from their neighborhoods, they couldn't go home all night. The cops had a press conference at 1.15 in the morning, and they said, we responded because somebody at the front of the march uh, uh, threw a Molotov cocktail, which was a total lie. But if you read the news the other day, before the decision, they said, if somebody, like they agreed to some sort of ridiculous rules of behaving, but they said if somebody throws a water bottle, like what happened the night that we, you know, responded when they attacked us, will respond. So they admit that nothing happened that night. But at the end of two hours of a of attack on the people, of rubber bullets and everything, yeah, some youth broke some windows in one store at the very end. What do you expect? What do you expect of people getting angry? And they're young people and we're fed up and this is a national, international struggle. And we have to demand prosecution. Jail Dan Wilson. Yeah. I'm a young black brother from Oakland, California. Yeah. I'm a young black brother from Oakland, California. I came out here in solidarity here in San Francisco, me and other black folks out here. And we just want to let y'all know, man, that this struggle will be led by our people. Our people will lead this shit. We know what oppression feel like. We've been going through this for a very long time. And for anybody to try to water anything down and say that we not out here doing what we need to do to hold down our people is a fucking lie. Because this is we out here and we rock it. Young youth. Young black youth. Young brown youth. And we out here. Period. Just like in West Oakland today when they shut down the border. In West Oakland today. So we just want to let y'all know this, man. Because we running this shit. Black Lives Matter. So we got a good crowd here. There's at least two, two, three hundred people. We're here in San Francisco. For those of you just joining us. Alright, what's good, people? Alright, I'm gonna just keep it like really short. Um, how many of you are tired of this shit? Real shit. We gotta like fucking stop. Hold up. Hold up. Real shit. All of y'all need to get your friends, your family out here. You feel me? We can't be standing alone, y'all. We gotta take all these fucking motherfucking streets and show them out that we are unity. Like they say, unido para más grandes vencidos. Do y'all know what that means? That means together we will never be divided, defeated, nothing. You know what I'm saying? So we need to get out here and march. We need to take over. Bro, let's just take market completely over. Let's shut that shit down. Now let cops in. Now let these fucking cars in. Now let these consumers in. Now let these capitalist motherfuckers on steroids in. We gotta stop it. I like that one. We're gonna start the music and start marching in like five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So I just wanna say thank you to all of y'all. This is our struggle. You feel me? This is our struggle. So we need to show that. And we ain't gonna let this shit happen no more. How many more people y'all wanna see dead? You feel me? This is, this is, I'm done, bruh. I'm 18. What the fuck? Like, what if, feel me? Like, what if I got shot? You know, my dreams would've been murdered. Just like Mike Brown. You feel me? Just like Alex Nieto. Just like Oscar Grant. We are colored people. And we are beautiful. You feel me? So, let's take it I'm tired to see my brothers and sisters dying. People think, oh, well, we're not blood. I don't give a fuck. We are all brothers and sisters. And we 
going to be going on the march for those of you who are watching. Uh, you should move over to Code Frame SF. Uh, and I put the URL up there for you to follow. If that's not right, uh, all I got to do is co Code Frame SF on Ustream. Just do a little search because I'm not going on the march. Unfortunately, uh, my knees are bothering me and my leg is like. But I'm down here and I'm out here for you folks. And we've got a good crowd of about, I don't know, what do you say, about two, two, yeah, two to three hundred people here on a Black Friday here in San Francisco. All right. So remember that, folks. That's Code Frame SF. So I'll stay up for a little while longer, and then uh, you can move over to his stream to get the march. So the march is going to leave here in just a few minutes. We got a really, we got a really good turnout here. And we're down here by the Embarcadero here in San Francisco. San Francisco to Ferguson. To Azatsunepa. Azatsunepa, I should say. Anyway, I'm not going to be going on the march, so do switch over to Code Frames URL. Um, at that is ustre.am slash capital G, capital M, capital A, little I. And uh, you can catch the rest of the, uh, of the live stream there. So, uh, everybody, you have a good evening, and uh, I'll be seeing you soon. Bye bye.